hey beautiful people all praises to the most high so he'd like me to um read these scriptures for you and f to tell you that you should be looking at the world through his word and that his word will not return unto him void and if you're reading his word then you will understand the things that you see in the earth like Isaiah 28 and 17 that's been happening all over the earth so I'm gonna read the scriptures he gave me to read you and then we're gonna go through some videos quickly um, Isaiah 28 and 17 judgment also will I lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies so yes he wants you to know the hail that you see happening in all the different countries is to wash away the refuge of lies and the waters shall overflow the hiding place. So the waters is overplay, overflowing all the hiding places where they think they're going to hide and the places of lies. All right. So that is what he wants you to know. And then to read this Isaiah 28 and 2. Behold, the Lord has a mighty and strong one, which has a tempest of hail and a destroying storm. So you see the thunderstorms and the hail. And as a flood of mighty waters, that's why you see him coming with the hail, the storm, and the floods, overflowing shall cast down the earth with the hand. So that is what you see God doing right now. Isaiah 28 and 17 and Isaiah 28 and 2. And then Hagar 2 and 17. He's telling the people in the earth, I smote you with blasting and with mildew and with hail and all the labors of your hands. Because he's destroying businesses, he's destroying houses. And things like that yet you turn not to me says the Lord now I'll read that after so as you can see this Australia flooding New York flooding but I already know New York was judged we're gonna go to that video in a second so this is New York a day ago all right California earthquake but you know earthquakes are gonna be in diverse places Spain tornado hits ice storm and hits um saudi arabia has been getting so much hail as well if you've been looking around a mudslide a tsunami hit japan four days ago russia as you've been seeing russia has been getting so much flood since june till now um there's just a lot italy as you've been seeing italy has been getting flooded for months germany as well um all of Europe has been actually getting floods, if you haven't been noticing. So this is China's flooding this year because what they did, all right? China hasn't just been getting flooding, they've been getting so much earthquakes. Like every day, China's getting flooded. I'm just showing you, you could look it up yourself. Um, around the world, just look up Europe. France, Italy, Germany, Russia, you name it. Flooding, because God is showing them that they're being judged germany here's germany now floods this week this week all right um 13 hours ago so italy 2021 just look up because god is doing this jeremiah 28 and 17 judgment also will i lead to the line and righteousness to the plummet and hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies and the water shall overflow the hiding place and Isaiah 28 and 2 Behold the Lord has a mighty and strong one which has which a tempest of hail and a destroying storm and a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with the hand for the punishment and he's saying to these people who are not understanding judgment is here I smote you with blasting and with mildew and with hail and all your labors of your hands yet you t return not to me says the Lord so there's Germany here we have um, Italy, um, floodings. Um, now we got Russia's five days ago, four days ago, three weeks ago, if you've just been looking. Brazil's flooding, even Guatemala's got flooding. Indonesia and um, Philippines have been getting so much flooding, flooding everywhere. Now to go with what happened in China, so if you're looking through Looking at the world through the lenses of the scriptures, look, Daniel 11 and 30 is being done. For the ships of Shittim, China, shall come against him, therefore he shall be grieved. 
and return and have indignation against the holy covenant, so shall he do. He shall even return and have intelligence with them that forsake the holy covenant. Um, have they not been forsaken the holy covenant? What's happening to religious freedom in China? But One second, please. Check our story out. It might just be a little bit different. It might be a fit for you. Must be so we've been in this for about a year and a half, and we've been very blessed. By All right. An important that. report about what's happening to religious freedom in China. Bob Fu is a Chinese American pastor who founded China Aid, which provides legal aid to Christians in China. Well, last Thursday, he tweeted, quote, New cultural revolution starts in hashtag CCP China. This notice to students in a first grade class demanding all parents and teachers to hunt all religious books, antagonistic books, and overseas books including books and videos that are copied, duplicated, and translated. Everyone is mandated. CBN News Chief International Correspondent Gary Lane is here with more on this story. So, Gary, is this a, a sudden development? Uh, why is it happening now? Well, you know, the Chinese Communist Party's modus operandi is to indoctrinate all students into the Chinese uh, Communist Party way. And so this is just more of that. But this includes Bibles, George. But why is it happening now? Because guess what? We've got an Olympics coming up, and the Chinese Communist government does not want any disruption for the Olympics. In Hong Kong, and it's even happening in the schools in Hong Kong. Yes, but, but in, in Hong Kong just recently, just last night, another one of the members of Apple Daily, the newspaper that was shut down uh, on the 24th of this month, uh, it no longer is allowed to print. They had their last uh, issue uh, on the 24th. And they've got, uh, I would say, probably about seven of their editors and leaders now have been arrested uh, for foreign collusion. And one of them, of course, are pro-democracy. And so they're indoctrinating the students, but they're also targeting uh, not only the youth, of China, but also sending a message to the adults. Uh, Gary, this is being called, uh, at least according to Bob Fu, a new cult. With them that forsake the holy covenant. Okay, so God has been judging this place, and they've been getting hail. As you can see, they've got this is the type of hail China's been enduring. Um, yeah, record size hail because of what they've done with mandating those books, all right? Severely getting judged. And earthquakes and floods, see? Earthquake, that one was today, one, a couple this week. The Three Gorges Dams disaster. You can look that up. Now, my country. But you did mention, you know, wondering when unvaccinated tourists can start coming to Canada, I can tell you right now, that's not going to happen for quite a while. Uh, we need to continue to ensure that the safety of Canadians, of all the sacrifices that so many people have made over the past many, many months, are not for nothing. Oh. So, no, you can't come to Canada if you're not vaccinated. Now, Revelations 13 and 17, and that no man might buy or sell save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name revelations 13 and 16 and he caused all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads now now revelations 12 and 9 and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceived the whole world the whole world, he deceived this whole world and get in the mark of the beast. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. You need to put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wills of the devil. The enemy that sows them is the devil. Welcome to this media conference to preview tomorrow's UEFA Euro 2020 final between England and Italy. We're joined here by England. Why is it doing that? Forgive me. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. The enemy that sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. Now, for what is a man's advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? 
If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I've chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. I have some videos I really want to get into and show you because they're relevant for the time. I just want to get in my history. I should have them up here for you. One second, if I don't, I'll get to them. Because you really need to hear these videos. See, at least this cartoon. You need to see this cartoon. And you need to see why are they going so hard to give you this. So I'm going to play this video for you. It's a couple, it's like 52 seconds and this two minute video for you. And then when this year ago video, when God told me that New York was judged and I told you that, well, there you go. It That's happening now. That's why they got flooded. And then you can even hear what I say in this video. So I'm going to go to that. But first, let's watch this. How to take over the world. Just if you didn't read that quick. So it gives you the basic instructions how to take over the world. Have you not? Does it sound? Does it look familiar to you? In the heavens and earth. Did you not read that? Let's go back. If you didn't see that. And check a vaccine. As I said, who goes so hard to give an incentive? To show you our video, we could talk about it in a few. Let's get to the video. Frequent Hustler Club is the latest company to offer perks just for getting the COVID-19 vaccine. If you show proof of being vaccinated, you will get a platinum membership card, a free bottle, free dances, and limo transportation. Okay, so why is the government trying so hard to... Free bottles, free level services, and free dances, and free club memberships to the gentlemen's club, to the strip club, to, to, for this thing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But this, if you, you got to wake up. This is no joke. So I'm going to play my video where I spoke about New York and what judgment is. This is over a year ago. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. Um, so July 24, 2020, so I'm laying on my bed. I close my eyes and I'm sleeping instantly. And I see a city, a metropolitan full of buildings. Then a dark gray cloud hovers over it. And a big lightning strikes the city. 
it was New York. So, yeah. I said, is that New York? Yes, my child, go right. So that's all that was my vision. And I just want to let you know, when lightning strikes over the city, that means God's judgment is over that city. <gasps> all right? So judgment is coming to New York City. And I know about a couple of months ago, eight months ago, I shared a child's vision about an earthquake happening in New York and the Statue of the Liberty dropping, falling, all right? And he was in the vision when he woke up. Okay, so you know how I said judgment? So what did God say? Um, uh, my vision is coming to pass on New York. Isaiah 28 and 17. Judgment also will I lay to the lion and righteousness to the plummet, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters shall overflow the hiding place. And, okay, um, back to New York. New York. You, you've seen it got a big flood through the subways this week. New York City right here so there's judgment on new york and god showed me that last year at the impact of floods on new york city but not just new york everywhere judgment is being laid to the line and it's hiding it's taking out the refuge of lies right and the hiding place the water shall overplay this overflow the hiding place because there's no place where the workers of iniquities may hide themselves and you have to know that that's in Job um, just want to get that yeah Job 34 and 22 there's no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves so there's not going to be any place for these people to hide their crime what they did before God and you have to know that judgment is here. Judgment can be at the door at your city at any day, at any time. It tells you God does whatsoever he pleases. All right. And what, and when you see, and my video washing away explains what's happening right now as well. So I'll go back. I warned you guys this, but, uh, May 27, 2020. Beautiful people. All praises to the most high. So today I want to discuss about natural disasters but especially flooding when floods happen okay all right we have to know a lot of people bury things in the earth right they bury types of witchcraft they bury, you know and when people pray some people pray to god and say lord let the earth vomit up whatever witchcraft was buried in it for me or my family right so when you see flooding in the land, God's washing away the wickedness. When you see towns getting flooded and washed out, that town practiced a lot of dark arts, witchcraft, enchantment. There's a lot of evil things set up in that land, and God has to wash it out. So those things are afflicting his people in that town, in that city, in that village. When you see houses submerged underwater and other things like that, when towns get wiped out like that, it's God is washing out the wickedness, okay? You, I want you to know that. So when you see flooding, that land needs to be cleansed. That town needs to be cleaned. It needs to wash away from all the wickedness that's going on. The people in that town, in that city, in that country can't move forward because of all the nets, the snares, the traps, the altars, the shrines, the grooves, the trees that are operating in the land, okay? So that's something I like to let you guys know flooding is to wash away wickedness so when people see flooding don't automatically think that it's a bad thing it's a good thing because God's washing away the wickedness of what people do you get me and another thing I really wanted to speak about is the blood of a man Okay, and this, um, S Amos 3 and 15. Jerome, smart carpet oh. or magic carpet. This is our dream of genie stuff. Oh, see, today, <laughs> smart is, uh, carpet, AR, AR smart well carpet, today. Party, get it in there. Yes, uh, this is incredible stuff. 
Uh, MIT, the geniuses in the US who create all sorts of amazing technology and research, have done this over the last couple of weeks. Tim, they've shown us that this carpet doesn't look that flash, it's black with sensors, but you get the idea because this is research. And what they've done here is they're able to teach this carpet to sense what someone is doing on top of it and then extrapolate into a 3D moving image. So just in that little second bit there, just another damn spy device. Um, hey, beautiful people. All this is not what else. I don't know how to do compilation videos, so bear with me. I'm not these type of tech suave people like that, but there is a video I'd like to show you quickly. <laughs> so please bear with me. I'm not. I'm not that great with that. You gotta watch. Reality emerges. COVID 23 has mutated. About a thing. Beginning thermal scan. Thermal scan normal. Every little thing. A horrifying new development. New data confirms the virus attacks the brain tissue. Oh, the Didn't I tell you about coward people and unwise people? They'll sell you out for a piece of bread for nothing. Because they think you're infected. You're a threat to society. But look at this. There's some things people just... Hey here, I uh, just wanted to show you my new favorite book that's being taught in schools for sex ed. For kids that are ages 10 and up and is now on a bill proposed to be taught to five-year-olds so the first illustration I came across was this adorable girl bent over completely naked with her anus showing and her chest dangling down so if you wanted to know what that looks like there you go let's see what else oh it has um, good illustrations on how boys and girls can you know, like what objects feel the best and the best time to do it and that sort of thing. And then it also shows you how to have intercourse between men and women, men and men and women and women. And there's a detailed paragraph here about how to make that all work as far as rhythm and making things feel good and whatnot. So I just thought parents would like to know. Once upon oh, and there's another one I'd like to show you. Uh, this is gone too far. This is absolutely gone too far. Oh, ground up, boy. <laughs> I'm a transgender woman. A transgender woman. Mind you, it's a child. So you, were the, you were a boy first? You were a boy first? I was born a male, yes. And you wanted to be a girl? Something like that. I just didn't feel right in my body. So I took steps to figure out how I could be feeling right in my body, you know? I don't need it. Maybe it's just not for you to understand. Well, that's okay. I don't, I don't understand why do you want to be a girl so bad, though. It's not really that I <laughs> wanted... maybe you should stay with your life that you had before instead of to be a different person because God made you that he made so I don't understand why you're trying to are you God? did I miss something? okay okay now well the children are wising up the children are wising up now this is something you need to watch. You can watch it right here. This See, actually, for... Let's hear what this man says to this man. That everything that you hear now contributes to turning you into a robot. Wait, let's go. Thanks. And it's not just a question of individual survival, Wally, but that somebody who's bored is asleep and somebody who's asleep will not say no. See, I keep meeting these people. I mean, 
Uh, just a few days ago, I met this man whom I greatly admire. He's a Swedish physicist, Gustav Bjornstrand, and he told me that he no longer watches television, he doesn't read newspapers, and he doesn't read magazines. He's completely cut them out of his life because he really does feel that we're living in some kind of Orwellian nightmare now, and that everything that you hear now contributes to turning you into a robot. And when I was at Findhorn, I met this extraordinary English... You should listen to the rest of that message, but... I'm just going to leave it off with this one. It's old but relevant. The smart mark has brought order to my life. And the best part? Rollout of Rook Unlimited's most fantastic device ever. The smart mark. Throw your other devices away because the smart mark is more than just a phone. It's part of you. Use it as cash. Book your travel. And even shoot video. Book your travel. Distribution points are all over the city. And don't let the lines discourage you. The Rook Unlimited Smart Vaccination Mark points are all over the city. I never realized how wonderful technology could make me feel. The Smart Mark has brought order to my life. And the best. New World Order. Revelations 13 and 16, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. But we know he did what? He did what? That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Strong death solutions. That they may believe a lie. That is the lie that you people believe. Oh, why is it not coming? That I just want you to know the scripture. That they may believe a lie. Now here it is, what I'm looking for. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong desolutions that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit, and belief of the truth. They don't believe that this is the mark of the beast. They believe it's a vaccine. You have a blessed day. And I hope this enlightened your eyes. With looking at the world through the scriptures. And the scriptures through the world. And seeing God's word and it's truth. And not being deceived.